It's day six in BC, and today is going to be a big one. Uh, I'm going up into the Mystic and down Lord of the Squirrels. Should be over 1,500 meters of vertical climbing today. And Trail Fork says riders should treat this endeavor as any other remote ride and come well prepared for any and all eventualities. They've got a list of things here that they also recommend bringing, um, and I'm going to take some time right now to get prepared. So I'm just going over a list of things I'm bringing up the mountain here. First few things, I hope I don't need them, but I'm definitely not going without them. First off is a first aid kit. Then I've got a poncho and an emergency blanket. Got two lighters and a headlamp. So I hope I don't need any of these things, but like I said, I'm not going without them. Next up is my sunglasses. Then I've got a set of Allen keys. I've got a tire pump. I have multi-tool on my bike and I have a tube in my swap box. I've got about two and a half liters of water. I've got some camera gear. And most importantly, I've got my phone and some power for my phone. Oh yeah, and I've got some food as well. Okay, it's just about 9.30 a.m. My bag's heavy. I'm headed over to the trail. Okay, this is the entrance to the trail here. This is the Rainbow Sporat Flank Trail. And that takes me 500 meters up to the start of the actual trail that I want to ride, which is called Into the Mystic. So a huge start to a huge day. I made it to the start of the climbing trail. This is Into the Mystic. I'm in bear country. Duh, bears. Guy ahead of me just knocked on this bear sign here, so... I'll do the same thing. I have a feeling I'm gonna be drinking glacier water today because I'm thirsty. You can't really bring enough water on rides like these. And to anybody who can actually clean this trail, congratulations. This... See? So I'm just hiking down this little side trail here to get some water out of this waterfall. Now I spoke to some locals a few minutes ago and they said that I'm about halfway to the tree line. And I've had about 45 minutes, I would say, of moving time. It's been a lot longer than that actually since I like to take a lot of breaks. But, uh, yeah, if I kept moving, I'd be above tree line in 45 minutes, so that's pretty sweet. Oh, that is freezing cold. Looks good, though. Nice and clear. I'm amazed every time I break tree line. The riding up here is just so cool. Looked at the map a few minutes ago, and I'm approaching the end of Into the Mystic. Wow. Just another ridiculous view in BC. Beautiful. Oh, we got some snow here in July. So now I'm on a trail called On the Rocks, and this traverses and it also climbs, I think about 150 meters, maybe 100, a little more than that. And that goes up to Lord of the Squirrels, which is just supposed to be unreal. I've got a cool little shelf coming up here. Nice. Wow. Nothing but alpine, as far as my eyes can see. There's some more snow up here. This would be nice on a hot summer day. Just lay over there where it's nice and clean. Yeah, for most of the year, this trail is covered in snow and it's not rideable. It's actually only rideable for about two months. So I came at just the right time. This is it. 
1,793 meters right here. This is the high point. A couple of ravens. So this is it, trailhead for Lord of the Squirrels. Been hearing a lot about this trail. Really wanted to ride it last year, but I missed it by a couple days. Now I'm here. Dropping into Lord of the Squirrels, descending 900 meters, and then I'll be dropping onto another trail, which I haven't decided what to take yet. And that'll take me like 455 back to the car. Okay, here we go. Trail starting to point down. Nice little berm to get things started off. There's a little roller there. Sweet. Some rocks there. I think there's going to be a lot of rocks here. Wow. This is so good. Through the river. It's opening up on my left here. Got a view of the mountains. Up onto a big rock. Cool. A little jumpy here. Nice. Pop of a rock. Cool. A little rock gap there. Pretty smooth. This is probably one of the first runs of the season on this trail. Just opened up. <laughs> Get bars through there. Wow, got loose through that section. Super cool. Haven't seen any squirrels yet. My time will come though. Yo, <laughs> so cool. Oh, nice big old slab of rock here. Roll it. Very cool. Yep. <laughs> what a wild line that was. A little creek there. Back over the <laughs> little waterfall. So cool. Amazing. Tight bench cut though. Gotta watch it. Whoa. <laughs> watch the edge. Thank you, brakes. Just trying to let off my brakes now so I don't end up with arm pump halfway through this trail. Got a long way to go. Awesome bridge work. So good. I just dream about trails like these all year, especially in the winter time. These are just some of my favorite moments in life right now. Oh, it's great. It's just amazing. I don't know how these guys are so good at building trails. It's unreal. I guess just years and years of experience. Like, you get better at everything with time, and I bet these people have been doing it for probably like 20, 30 years, some of them, because this is incredible. Okay, dropping back in, still no squirrels. This trail's called Lord of the Squirrels. I wonder if the Lord of the Squirrels is like another squirrel, or maybe it's like a, a big chestnut. This run is a mission. It just goes and goes and goes. I'm not complaining at all because I sure took my sweet time getting up here and I'd love to have a good run. Wow, this is chunky right here. Yeah. Whoa, what a line. That's not a blue line. My God. 
maybe there was a ride around and I just didn't see it. Feeling good through here. Awesome. I know where I am. I was here earlier. Okay, so now I know the end is near because I rode by that part earlier. But all I have to do is make it to the bottom now in one piece and this mission is a success. Oh yeah, that was wicked. Man, this section is awesome. It's getting a little dark in here, but still. Oh yeah, so fast through there. So good. Nice. You can see the bottom. There it is. That's Lord of the Squirrels. Completed. So I'm feeling cooked right now. I did what I came here to do. So I'm gonna blast down this fire road back to the van. I'm in the mood for a swim, some chicken wings, and a beer. Until next time, ride good trails.